No, we're not gardening today. We're just mixing a drink. A summer drink. Some learning and fun here in Channel 1, where we grow, cook, and share. This time, we're not cooking, it's mixing. That's true, we're not gardening today. In fact, I just bake a cake. It's my best selling ube cake. Look how lovely it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we'll just set it to a side. We don't need it for this show. We are making a drink. We're just mixing a cocktail. It's summer and it's just warm, so we need something refreshing. Perhaps you would say, why not beer? Well, it's expensive. This is much cheaper, more economical, and it's trendier. It is mojito. By the way, welcome to Channel One. Your Kuya and uncle here, Romulo. We're making mojito today. It's the national drink of Cuba. Well, why? Because they grow cane sugar and they make rum from it. Also in the Philippines, we grow uh, uh, cane sugar or sugar cane, so we also drink rum. And by the way, in the Visayan region and in Mindanao, it's Tanduay rum and lime juice. And this is much thinner. Mujito! These are the basics of the cocktail herbs or mojitos. Lime. I don't know the Tagalog word for lime, but in my beautiful Ilocano, this is perres <laughs> and mint around seven leaves. Seven leaves for each glass, that is. Yerba buena. Okay, we need those. And of course, we need rum. You can use white or the dark. The dark has a richer flavor. It's your choice. And tonic water. Of course, ice cubes. We need ice cubes as well. And I almost forgot, sugar, <laughs> sugar, I even ran out of sugar. Let me refill this face. And back, <laughs> we have sugar. Mm. Okay, two aside. So I'll be preparing two, two glasses of mojito. We just need to slice the lime into quarts. And just half a lime for each glass. And one tablespoon of sugar. Or, al gusto, if you want to make it less uh, sweet, you can adjust the amount of sugar. Okay, this is the classic recipe. Why buy premixed drinks from the store if you can make it at home? That's why I'm showing you. Economize. Mahal ang bilihin ngayon. Economize. Let me explain a bit why we need to pound the uh, lime. We need to squeeze the juice from the fruit. And we also need to extract the grease from its skin. So we squeeze or pound it like this. Can we even call this pounding? Let's add the gin tonic, or let's add, sorry, no, no, let's add the tonic water. We have to leave some space for the ice and the rum. Ideally, just three fourths of glass. And ice.
Look at that. How beautiful can that be? And, of course, the spirit. At least one cap. But, ideally, two of this. Of course, if you want to make it stronger, you can add more, but that's not recommended. We just mix until the sugar dissolves. No bottle that. Let's do that again. I think my hands or my fingers are wet. It's not doesn't look good on camera. So, mojito, made at home, or mix at home. Don't buy, make it at home. The ingredients and the recipe in the description box. <laughs> oh, life is beautiful. <clears throat> and our cameraman. So thank you for joining me here today for this short tutorial on how to make the original mojito recipe. If you're interested in how to make this ube, it's, there's a link in the description box. But this is our show today, mojito. This shoot has been inspired by the flavors and the sights of Cuba. I'd like to leave you for now with a film, with a video I made. Cuba and if you want to see more of the country there's a video link above and in the description box below thank you for watching and I hope to see you too in my barrio my window until next time